Hi everyone, we continue talking about the ways of setting up the external DNA services for your domains in Plask. Today we will talk about Amazon Route 53 extension available in the Plask extension catalog. Before starting, make sure that no other DNAS extensions are installed, like for example DigitalOcean DNAS extension or Slave DNAS extension, so there are no conflicts between them. In addition to that, you need to have an account at portal.aws.amazon.com. Let's install the extension. As you can see, the extension itself is free. However, the Amazon Route 53 service itself is commercial. The extension is installed. To manage this service, we need a restricted IAM user account to authenticate with Amazon. If you are an advanced user of Amazon, you can generate it by yourself on Amazon and then in the extension you choose the option I have created a restricted IAM user. Another way is to provide your root account credentials and the extension will generate a restricted IAM account for us. Let's use the second option. Go to your Amazon account Log in to it and open My Security Credentials at the right corner of the page. Then, in the field Access Key, we can create a new key. Open the generated Access Key. Now we need to copy the key and paste it back in the Extensions field. Let's do the same with the secret access key. On this screen you can also see two options. The first option serves for white label and name servers using Route 53 name servers. Another option is switching on and off the Amazon Route 53 service. Let's skip them and create a restricted I am user. Just press login. The user has been created. As you can see, the options change to I have created a restricted I am user account and both key and secret have been also changed. They are not stored by the extension. Turn on Amazon Web Service Route 53 and log in with the replace credentials. Now we can see two new tabs. On Reusable Delegation Sets tab, we can see a list of name servers and IP addresses specified for working with Route 53 service. Note that you cannot host more than 100 domains at one delegation set. On Mass Management tab, you can push all zones res registered in Plask to Amazon. Let's synchronize all zones. After all zones have been synced, we do not need our root account anymore. We can delete it on Amazon console for safety purposes. Now we can go to Route 53 and make sure that all zones have been really synced. Open Route 53. We can see that there are two hosted zones. Here are synchronized domains. Let's open a domain and look at its records. We can see that NS records are Amazon name servers. To make it fully work, we need to specify these name servers at our register as name servers of our domain. Hope this covers your questions. If we missed any, drop us a hint in the questions and we'll be on it. 
goodbye and stay safe.